Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I'm going to show you how to use our Pumpkin Haze digital backdrop. So first thing we want to do here, I've got the template open. Let's go ahead and click on your photo here in your layer palette because that's where we're going to add our photo, right in that spot. Um, and I do have a photo already selected over here, this cute little thing. So grab our move tool. We're going to click on the little boy. We're going to drag him up to our template tab and then drop him right onto the canvas to sort of put him in there already. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to size this. So let's do control T on the keyboard to transform. And let's just size him up just a little bit here. I think that's pretty good. Go ahead. We're going to hit enter on the keyboard. Okay. So now the last thing we're going to want to do is cut him out of his background so that our background can show through. So we've got the layer selected. Let's grab our lasso tool. And when you grab this tool, you can see that select and mask is an option up here. So go ahead and click on that. So that's going to um, allow us to cut our subject out here. And you can see that there's a button that says select subject. So go ahead and click on that and just give it a couple seconds. And voila, <laughs> it really does a pretty fantastic job, although it's it needs some help. It needs some refining around the edges, but it does a really, really nice job. And one thing to point out is um, the view mode that I have here. You want to make sure that you're viewing on layers because that allows our digital background to be shown through. And then you can see exactly how it will look once this um, extraction is done. OK, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So we want to look at this hair because the hair looks very sort of cut out with scissors and we don't want that look. So the first thing we're going to do is hit our, we're going to um, choose a smart radius. Let's bump it up um, maybe around 40-ish, 39. And you can see that actually did a nice job just with that one little change. So then I want to grab my refine edge brush and I'm going to brush right around this hair to sort of further enhance this instruction. And you can see it, it did some really nice things in here. We've got some artifacting over here that we have to uh, deal with. So let's go ahead and up the contrast somewhat. Not too much, we don't want it to look cut out again. And let's shift the edge down. The contrast might be a little too much right there. Okay, that's looking better. And the rest of his body is it's perfect. It's perfectly cut out. looks really, really good. So go ahead and let's click OK. Let's zoom out somewhat. Okay, so we've got him cut out now. Um, the last thing we want to do is go ahead and turn on our sunlight haze. So that's your top layer here. Now, this is at 100%, and that's pretty high for this. So I'm going to just bump that down somewhat. Um, kind of like it in the 60 range here. I think that looks good. So the sunlight kind of brings it all together. It ca kind of casts this nice sunlight over the entire template, um, and it kind of makes your uh, subject feel like it's more a part of it and not so Photoshopped. Um, so that's it. That's, uh, it's super easy to use our digital backdrop templates, and I hope you enjoy.